Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and thanks for checking out the channel. We got some interesting news that's maybe coming out of the Japan HF radio market today, and that's that uh, there's a new radio, the Yaesu FT710, slotted for release in Japan in August of 2022. Now we're going to actually take a look at this photo here today, and we're going to we're going to kind of dissect a few things, and then we're going to talk about its features. How big is this radio going to be, especially compared to the FTDX10? which this radio kind of looks like a combination of the FTDX10 and the 991. What frequencies are we going to have on this? And we're going to talk about a few other things as well. So join me here while we talk about the radio. Now, the first thing that I want to just mention and point out is this photo that appeared almost makes it seem like there's a pop-up screen on the FT710. And if we take a look at this photo and we really just look at this photo, it's pretty obvious that this photo has some filters applied to it and is poorly photoshopped. Uh, but if we page down also, we look at another photo. And by the way, this is cqdx.ru. The other photo has no indications of a pop-up screen. In fact, there is a speaker on the top here. So if there was a pop-up screen, it would actually interfere with the speaker. Just to kind of put that into note. And then if we go on and right above there, we have a list of the frequencies that this radio is going to be able to accept. Now, what I will say is there's three models of this radio. There's the FT710, the 710M, and the 710S. And I believe those have to do with different, different feature sets or different power output levels. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But if we continue down, it looks like this radio is going to pretty much be a 160 through 6 meter radio, much like the FTDX10. And if we continue to look at the features that are listed on cqdx.com, they actually do mention that the 710M is a 50 watt version and the 710S is a 10 watt version. And the price is still unknown according to that website. Now I'm gonna jump over to hamlife.jp and hamlife.jp has a lot of the same information, except they do reference the Ministry of Internal Affairs in Japan, which kind of helped us verify that this is a legitimate radio because it went through certification processes within Japan. Now, uh, we're going to go on and we're going to take a look, though. And one of the things that is mentioned somewhere in here is the size. Now, the Yaesu FTDX10 is actually bigger than this radio, so this is going to be a smaller form factor. But by how much? The new 710 series is going to be 239 millimeters by 80 millimeters by 247 millimeters. And that's kind of where this gets a little disappointing because the Yaesu FTDX10 is actually 266 by 91 by 63. Uh, you're looking at not even an inch in width and not an inch in height. So it's about the same size, just a little bit smaller meaning this is going to be an HF radio for mainly home use. You could use it portable. You can get yourself a nice go case, but it's nowhere like something like the ICOM IC705, which we have been expecting Yezu to release some kind of IC705 killer now for, uh, it's been a while. Although maybe this is some kind of portable attempt on the part or behalf of Yezu. And I say that because as we know, the FTDX10, which I just told you guys the dimensions, it comes in at 5.9 kilograms, and it is a heavy radio. I could tell you that firsthand. However, the new Yaesu FT710, and of course, it's 710M and 710S, is considerably lighter, uh, being about 9.9 .9 or 10 pounds, which I think is 4.7 kilograms. So significantly, there's a difference in weight uh, of a few pounds. And over on the Japanese uh, Ministry of Affairs, we do have that information regarding the different models. And in short, yes, the different models just coincide with different power levels, assuming for different regions, you know, so maybe a Japanese market, maybe a U.S. market. For example, if we go ahead and we jump back over here and we take a look at the 710M, which is listed here, and we go down, we're going to see that there's, there's limits at 50 watts, 50 watts. 50 watts, 50 watts, 50 watts, 50 watts. So the frequency ranges, no matter where you are, is going to be a 50 watt radio. But if we go back over here and we jump on to the 710S, everything's only 10 watts, 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 20 watts on uh, VHF or on on six meters. So then the original model we've already shown, which has 100 watts, 100 watts, 100 watts. And I think six meters showed 50 watts. 
The question will be, is there anything different on this radio than there was the Yezu FT-DX10? And let's just take a look at the radio itself real quick. From left to right, we're going to talk about a few things. On the left-hand side, we have our different buttons. We have our power button, our tune button, our Vox, uh, our headphone input, and our microphone uh, our microphone input. And th that's exactly the same as the Yezu FT-DX10. So now if we move to the right a little bit, the next thing we're going to see is going to be our screen. And based upon the dimensions I told you just a few moments ago, I have to assume that the screen is going to be slightly smaller, uh, but that's yet to be heard or seen. Now, if we look at the screen itself and we get a good deep dive on it, though the screen itself is almost identical to the Yezu FTDX10. In fact, I'm going to tell you that I believe there's going to be a 3D waterfall display on here based upon the fact that on the lower left hand side of the screen, you have the 3D SS button that you could push. And then, of course, you can go into multi-mode where you see all these different things. And uh, you have your expand, so you could expand the length of your waterfall display. And you have your speed, so you could adjust the speed. And if we continue to look right here, there's there's some differences, don't get me wrong. Uh, especially kind of like the layout of the buttons and where the buttons are. Uh, you still have your function knob, which if you hit your function knob, it's going to get you into your Yezu menus. But uh, the knob below that, uh, the toggle below that is going to be different than the Yezu FT-DX10. This is going to be a step knob, whereas the FT-DX10, excuse me, was a AFRF and squelch knob. So they did change those around a little bit, but still we see things like our digital noise reduction. We're going to see the ability for digital notch filter. We still have automatic gain control. Uh, I don't know anything yet about the different bandwidths of this radio, and that could be a big, a big difference with the radio itself. Uh, and then one thing that is kind of different, though, on the radio, if you look at the top of the screen, there are one, two, three, four, five different shortcuts now where the Yezu Web TDX10 doesn't have those in that spot. You have a noise blanker, you have your clarifier, and I'm having a hard time reading the rest, but it looks like there's a zero beat and the ability to change your mode right there. So those are like shortcuts to easily access the radio features that you're going to use the most is what I think. Because now if I look at this, I have to look on my Yezu FTDX10 and I have to look where the large knob is and then I have to say, okay, where's mode? All right, there's mode. Whereas now I think they realize, hey, we could just put shortcut buttons up top. It'll be easier. That's all I got for the Yezu FTDX710 right now. It kind of looks like kind of looks like this is their attempt to make things a little bit smaller to make them a little more portable while offering a high power radio. However... Uh, well, actually, real quick, I got to check the size of the Yesu FT-991 that I have right here because it might be smaller or bigger than the 991. Give me one minute. And the Yesu FT-991, I just looked it up. It's uh, 229 millimeters by 80 millimeters by 253 millimeters, which if I look at this, uh, that's smaller than the FT710. So the 710 fits in between the FTDX10 and the 991. Uh, as far as weight goes, the 991 is just about the same weight, maybe a half of pound lighter. Uh, it's an interesting go to see what, what they're doing with this radio or why they came out with the new model. And uh, I'll be curious to see what uh, Yesu has to say if they want to come on the show. Uh, first look right here. Anyway, I'm Ham Radio Dude. Thanks for checking out the channel. Take care. 73.